maybe the hardest part is you, if, if you teach, you have to live your teaching. Mm. You can't uh, say, you do not as I do, but do as I say. No, no. You have to say, I'm doing my best to live what I teach. I have a painting by Phoebe of a group that she calls Sister Suki's Funeral. And they all the women, there are about nine women, and they, they all look like women in my grandmother's uh, prayer meeting group. So whenever I'm obliged to do something, I take that painting, and I look at that painting. There's an empty chair. And I think, now, what would Grandma do? What would she say? I can almost hear her voice say, now, sister, you know what's right. Just do right. You don't really have to ask anybody. The truth is, right may not be expedient. It may not be profitable. But it will satisfy your soul. It brings you the kind of protection that bodyguards can't give you. Try to be all you can be, to be the best human being you can be. Try to be that in your church, in your temple. Try to be that in your classroom. Do it because it is right to do. You see, people will know you. And they will add their prayers to your life. They'll wish you well. I think if your name is mentioned and people say, oh, hell, oh, damn, <laughs> I think you're doing something wrong. But if your name is mentioned and people say, oh, she's so sweet, he's so nice, oh, I love, oh, God bless her, there you are. So try to live your life in a way that you will not regret years of useless virtue and inertia and timidity. Take up the, uh, the battle. Take it up. It's yours. This is your life. This is your world. I'll be leaving it long before you under the ordinary set of circumstances. You make your own choices. You can decide life isn't worth living. And that would be the worst thing you can do. How do you know? So far. Try it. See. So pick it up. Pick up the battle and, and make it a better world. Just where you are. Yes. And it can be better, and it must be better. But it is up to us. 